Hello friends, Heidi here from Rain Country. God is good all the time. And today I'm finally getting around to talking about my little vintage um, coffee grinder. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about that in a minute, but I wanna show you, this is the, it's a little bit newer. I don't know how old this one is. Uh, we picked it up at a garage sale for a few dollars and I purchased this one because it has a much bigger hopper and then Patrick, installed it to sit more permanently onto this table so it wouldn't walk, rock around. And the reason why this table is because this is also uh, the table that he built me for my grain mill, my country living grain mill. And it just made sense to have this here. It fits just fine with it. It's not in the way of my grinding the flowers or anything. Now this is the one I really wanted to talk about because it's just, it, first of all, it was a gift from my father. And he gave it to me years ago when I was first getting into, uh, many years ago, I probably had this since my kids were babies, when I was first getting into grinding whole bean coffee and I didn't have a coffee grinder and he just gave this to me and at the time, I really didn't realize what a gift it was. I was just, I loved it, I loved the looks of it, I used it a lot. And then when we got that bigger one, I just, you know, this one just kinda, you know, I got to use in that because I could put more coffee beans in there at a time. And, but, you know, I still love this one, obviously because it's vintage and what I've learned about it since. Now, this was definitely made in Italy. It says right on the bottom, it's kind of hard to see it, but it's right here, stamped made in Italy. And then if you just read the names and you know a little bit about Italian, you will you can tell it's Italian. Now the metal part, tre spade, which means three swords. And the FB right here stands for Fratelli Bertoldo, which I believe would mean the Bertoldo brothers. And there's the three sword symbol here. And then this is Fabrica Nazionale Marca Depositata is what that says. And what I found out about it when I started doing the research was this had to have been made in the early half of the 1930s. And because in 1938, the company that made this was then uh, reestablished under a new name. And I have that name written down here because it's very long and it's, it, it was reorganized and then became the Fabricazione Articole Casalinghi e Metallurgici. <laughs> That's a very long name, which basically just means uh, the manufacturing art of household items and, and metal items. So, you know, it sounds beautiful, but it's very, it's just a very literal name. There's nothing fancy about the name. Anyway, so I just, I thought this was just really neat and I'm certainly, I never was gonna get rid of it anyway after I switched to that one. And then of course, along with the electric one that we picked up at a garage sale for a few dollars, it was brand new just a couple of years ago. That one I used the most cause I can plug that one into our solar power and still save money on our power bill. But I always have two coffee grinders as backup if we don't have solar power, don't have public power. I can still grind coffee or anything else I want to grind in a coffee grinder. And so this was just, just very cool. I love the fact that it's made in Italy, especially with our, my Italian heritage. Uh, anything that's old and from Italy, it's, it's a must keep. I never get rid of that. And plus it was a gift from my father. And, uh, you know, so that means a lot to me. Because of All that. right, well, that's just a real brief thing. I know it was short, but before I go, I wanted to show you real quick a gift that we got from one of our subscribers by the name of Karen. I don't want to give her last name because I'm not sure if she wants me to share that, but if she's watching and she wants to go ahead and say, hey, that's me, she can do that in the comment below. But she uh, handcrafted these items for us. I love this. Burgundy is one of both me and Mr. Rain love burgundy and green. Those are our two favorite colors. And so this was perfect. Little uh, grocery bag sack holder. And this is uh, hand crocheted. And then the other items she sent were knitted. And a couple of these are 
several of these are these little scrubbers. And I've used this one. In fact, it's still wet because I've been using it and I love it. It's great. And then she sent some more with the same scrubby yarn. And they're really pretty. I love the colors in these things. And then uh, a knitted washcloth. So I want to say thank you, Karen, for your very sweet gifts. I very much appreciate it. And already the scrubber has been, I, just the one I've used so far has been really just loving it. And uh, again, much appreciated. Thank you so much. And I also wanted to take this time to thank all the other many people that have just taken the time to sit down and write us cards and letters and send them to, the, to us. I don't always think when I'm shooting videos about these things, but I want you to know that we get them. We appreciate them so much. We read them. We, I hang them up on our refrigerator so we can, when we're walking by, we can look at that and just go, how sweet it is that that person sent that. Took the time to write all that out and say all these really kind words to us. So we really appreciate it. And, you know, I know I'm terrible at writing back or even getting on the videos to say thank you, but I'm just saying it now. And I'll try to remember to keep up on and it. And don't forget, people, if you don't know what our addresses are, you can look in the description box. Don't forget to hit show more below. And right at the bottom of the description box, all the way down to the bottom, is all of our contact information. It has our email. It has our snail mail address. So anytime you're wanting to contact us, those are the two best ways to get hold of us. Email is the best because it's quickest, and it's the one we're most likely to see. Private messages on YouTube can often get missed for a long time because we never, ever, ever get notifications of private messages and I don't get enough. Uh, I get maybe one a month at most and so I don't always think to go in there and check it. Email is the best. Facebook is okay, but Facebook's more, most likely, more likely to get missed than email. So email is the best. RainCountryHomestead at gmail.com. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this video and the little bit of history of my cool coffee grinder that I have here. And again, thank you to all of you uh, just for watching our videos and taking the time with us and just to be a part of our lives with us. Thanks for watching. Take care and God bless.